I gotta get these Z's, y'all. Uh. This how I be. Right over top of my T-Rex. Just me and my Rex. Me and Rex Monroe over here, man. What's going on guys, Ro King Sino here bringing you another episode of the Dirty Left Shoe Chronicles. You dig? Today's episode is actually going to be about transporting my Campania T-Rex. I recently seen in a thread online, um, I believe on one of the Facebook groups, where uh, people were talking about the size trailer they should purchase. So I think they're, they're newly purchasing a T-Rex and they're not sure how they're going to pick it up. Um, so hopefully this video will help clear some of those things up as well as give you my own personal experience on buying a trailer too small. <laughs> Got a couple interruptions as always. It wouldn't be a video if it wasn't. <laughs> you dig? <laughs> Damn. All right guys, so what I go ahead and do is I talk you through some of the specs of my trailer. This right here is a 16, uh, it's an eight and a half by 16 trailer uh, with the V-nose front. The V-nose in the front is actually four feet. Um, normally, a lot of times you see them as two feet. This one's four feet. So overall length is, uh, is 20 feet, but this is considered a 16 foot trailer. Usable space, you'll be fine with a 16 foot, even if it's a box trailer. Um, the width of it again is eight and a half. I'll go ahead and I'll get you some sizes uh, so you all know what will work and what won't work. I have my trailer right here, I have my T-Rex right here, and I'll load it for you. I won't strap it down. Uh, if you don't know how to strap any of your toys down by now, you probably shouldn't have them. Um, do, a, do a YouTube search on how to strap down motorcycles. I got a video like that. Um, and if you by chance don't know how to strap your T-Rex down, Leave in the comment section below, guys, and I'll go ahead and I'll do a video for you. Let me just get some general uh, measurements really quick, okay? Because we're losing light, and I want to make sure I keep the light. So a lot of times, people will go by the actual width of the interior of their trailer versus the doorway. The doorway is what you need to make sure clear once you is clear once you know you have the right width inside, okay? So. You can zoom in right here. The width in the interior, before you get to the wheel wheels, is 96 inches. That's eight feet. Plenty of room uh, once you get it inside. In between the wheel wheels, let's measure. Can you see right here? Come in. Got 82 inches. So that's six feet, 10 inches, which is enough. Um, to get your wheels in between there um, with a, maybe an inch or so, maybe a couple inches on each side, depending on if you have wider wheels, um, if you have aftermarket fan, uh, if you have aftermarket fenders, what have you. So you got eight feet here, and you got six feet, ten inches here, 82 inches here. Let's check the doorway. That's the main thing, guys. Then I'll tell you why you should get an eight and a half width trailer versus a seven and a half seven anything like that okay the doorway is at 91 inches so that's seven feet seven inches that's the doorway so we know we got plenty to get this up and into this trailer okay this particular trailer of mine is um i'm converting into like a toy hauler so pardon the mess in there i'm still like in in, in the works of everything but you know this is like my makeshift bed set up got my tv right there uh, I got my front sink right there. You can kind of look over and see. Uh, so it's functional. It's functional for what it is. I got my little dinner table set up right there. And then also this is a fold down couch. This is a fold down couch right here. So I won't set any of that up. I'm just kind of showing you all what the floor plan is like in this trailer. All right. And this bed actually comes up and down, so when it's not in use and when I'm not transporting my T-Rex, I'm able to lower um, this uh, platform in order to be able to lay lower versus laying so high. But I have it set up to where I can comfortably roll my T-Rex in here and the bed sits over top of it. And I know what you guys are going to say, oh man, that's scary. Oh man, it's good. What if the bed falls on it? This and that. Man, if the bed falls on your T-Rex, it's due to your own misconstruction. You dig what I'm saying? So... The bed 
knock on wood um hasn't failed on my t-rex i don't plan on it uh i do a lot of riding around even without this t-rex uh in here so i'm perfecting everything i'm trying to get everything perfect so i don't run into issues like that but it's pretty solid just for the purposes of this video i had to lift it up so i don't have the pins and everything in it and screws the way that i normally would but it's very secure when it's actually uh, uh in motion in transport but this is able to uh raise up to get my t-rex under and lower um, as well and I do it manually it's no happy jack style or anything like that um, just good old-fashioned brute strength you know what I mean I'm all about the physical activity and doing physical work enough of that let me measure the length of this thing so okay now right here we'll go out to 12 feet guys right here is a 12 is 12 feet Okay, 12 feet will have you covered, but you will be extremely snug. I wouldn't recommend doing a 12 unless you have a V-nose. So 12 with the V-nose front, you'll have like a couple more feet with that. But a uh, 12 foot V-nose trailer, it will fit. Um, it will be tight. Uh, I'd say get as big as you can, go as big as you can. Um, you know, as long as it's within your means, you'll thank me later, trust me. And I'll tell you why at the end of this video we won't be past here um so you'll see what i'll go ahead and do is i'll just bring my t-rex in so you guys can see it uh being loaded and see how much space you got on each side and i actually do some measurements on that first let me get some measurements to the t-rex so you guys know those measurements too as well okay easy way to do this will be to set your measuring tape down i like to kind of bring it out maybe about a half an inch or so to an inch just so I know I got enough I know you guys are like oh well that's not precise if I'm trying to measure it but the thing about it is this it's not really in between trailer unless you're uh, you're um, getting some custom made just go with the eight and a half width you'll think okay so right here if you look I would say I'm at about 78 comfortably my fenders if you look again they're the three slotted fenders they seem to stick out a little bit more but the thing about it is I'm within that range because if you look even at 80 inches, I'm good to go. Okay, so let's say even if I'm, I'm out here 80 inches, I'm good to go. Let's go back to that measurement in between the wheel wheels because that's what counts. All right. In between the wheel wheels, we're at 82. I was around the 77, 78 ish, I believe. In between these wheel wheels is 82. So we got a couple inches on each side. Okay. I have a front lip on my T-Rex that I'm constantly taking off and I'm constantly getting touched up and repainted because I ride the dog piss out of my T-Rex. If you look over top, this is 12 feet from that front lip, okay? So look, we got plenty guys, we got plenty. It's actually more of 11 and a half, 11 uh, and some change. I got this wing right here, which brings it back a little bit. Uh, we'll call it 11 8 11 foot 8 inches um, just give or take but even at 12 feet as you can see a 12 foot trailer will work so if you guys if you're doing an open trailer that's one thing but enclosed trailer which we all kind of want the enclosed trailer um get the eight and a half width i had a seven and a half width by 12 foot trailer with the v-nose front two inches i mean two feet in the front that's 14 feet v-nose pushed all the way in the front and my buddies who ride t-rexes with me know this I used to have to take my goddamn wheels off and my fenders off and put donuts on my T-Rex to make sure it got in there because my doorway was not wide enough. Go with the bigger trailer, guys. Don't try and be cheap. I purchased it brand new. This trailer is actually used, and this is one of the best trailers that I've owned. Um, and I've owned probably about four enclosed trailers. Just for extra security, go ahead and make sure you got your jacks um down in the rear and also make sure you got that front jacked up as much as possible because my t-rex sits low especially with the lip on it and uh that avoid it from getting scraped up i also use ramps right here to kind of get me going these are ramps from my um from my Kenan open trailer uh that i use to actually roll it up on there uh just to give me some extra clearance so i'll go ahead and i'll start working it up and you guys are going to see how close everything is so i'm going to give you shots of where the wheels are I'm gonna give you shots of where the height of it is. Mind you, in your eight and a half by whatever size you get as far as length, 12 and over, hopefully. Um, 
you don't have to worry about having any of this stuff here this is is for me it's what i do um and again you know when i'm out and when i'm at a lot of these events i like to have an option especially if i'm driving over there to be able to pull over on the side of the road get some rest so i don't have to get there one day or two days or however long it takes me to get to where i'm going so you you don't have to worry about some of these things in here this is just how i'm particularly set up but everything is collapsible to where i'm able to or able to raise to where i'm able to use the entire floor if i needed to take your time guys Alright guys, so you see me coming in through the doorway. Check me out in between the wheel wells. So as you can see guys, I'm right here. Clearing everything. From all ends. Same distance in between the wheel wells. Okay, for me, that's where I'm at with it because I like to have that hook right underneath my, uh, not this hook. I got this hook here, but I got that hook too. I like to have that hook right underneath my uh, front wheel. Now, let's look and see how tight we are everywhere, which of course is not too bad um, for me just because of uh, the setup that I have. Now, you remember 12 feet. Where 12 feet was at. So you look in between this wheel well with the fender. We'll measure from the fender. And I know it's tight here, guys. I just get the measurement for you. A guesstimate close enough. Uh, we got about an inch and three quarters. We got about an inch and a half here. Um, depending on how you turn your wheel. I mean, we can make an inch and a half. <laughs> All right, we got a little bit over an inch and a half here in between the fender. Um, so we're good on both sides. Just make sure you take your time strapping everything down and you shouldn't have any issues. Length, okay? I know we're good in the back and I'll show you where we're at, but let me get this length. 12 feet is right here, guys. So. I'll show you how much room you got in the back. But if you notice, this is right here where the lip is at. If you guys need to know how to strap your T-Rex down, just request in the comments section below and I'll make a video doing that. If you look and see how much uh, I got, I probably got about an inch to two inches above where my, my bed is actually sitting, where that uh, platform is actually sitting that I call a bed. You can call it whatever you want to call it. Um, this couch is 100% collapsible. It's held up. I won't have any issues. You can run another bungee cord if you have something similar to that um, across it just to make sure you got extra security, but it's fine. This table breaks down. I won't have any issues with that. <laughs> this is really guessing, guys. We'll call it six inches just to be safe. We got six inches, maybe a little over. Um, from the back from the actual back door lifting up because remember your back door is going to sit inside this frame so you do have to account for this part that's why i took the measurement from that piece of wood so you got about six inches still make sure you chalk your wheel if you need to or if you know that you, you your strap um game ain't all that and you're not straight or great with strapping down your t-rex but i'll normally uh run two straps in the back one on each side and two straps in the front um i'm gonna be doing a wheel chalk system uh, in this soon let's get a shot from the back of it um so you can see it fits in there perfect it fits in there great i don't have any issues with it go with the bigger um trailer versus the smaller trailer you would definitely thank me guys you'll definitely thank me i can't stress that enough um go with the bigger the the wider width versus the the shorter width seven and a half enclosed trailer 
Don't do it. Trust me. Don't do it. Make sure you comment, like, subscribe. Most of all, share this video. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, leave a comment in the comment section. I appreciate it. Also, let me know, guys, if you want to see some more videos about, you know, the build that I got going on with my particular trailer. Maybe some ideas that I can uh, enlighten you guys on. It, this is all a learning process for me as well. Um, a first time with a lot of things, uh, but it's coming along, so I can't really complain. Uh, so if you like what you see here and you want to see some more of it, make sure you let me know in the comment section below too. Uh, this is 2021. We got a lot more events coming up, a lot more fun going on this year. I hope to catch y'all and see y'all soon at the nearest event near you. I'll catch y'all in the next one. Peace. I'm going to just do a demonstration of me in sleep mode, you know, when I'm out. On my voyages with Miss Rex Monroe right here. You know, so it's quite simple. I got me a little step stool right here. You know what I mean? Because I ain't too tall, but I'm tall enough. All right? And then I just hop up over this thing. You know, the key is to be a little bit athletic. Now I'm a little nervous. Ha! <laughs> this how I'm going, guys. <laughs> Check me out. Man, get me some sleep up in here. Ugh. Right.